Well, um, MC is somebody who is a master of all ceremonies, and they're on the party. Uh, they could be doing three hours, and they can control and move the crowd along in conversions with the DJ. A rapper is somebody who may, may come in there for a short designated part and uh, and, and actually rap over, you know, a, a track or a beat that that particular event might have. And you can even short, you know, shorten the event to being a track for a record. So some, a rapper goes into a court, you know, a rap over a, a song. And the difference between rap music and hip hop is hip hop is the overall culture. Uh, embodies of all kinds of different elements. Um, that embodies is it's uh, it's um, DJing, break dancing, um, MC, and graffiti. And those are the elements that make hip hop. And then when you break down the MC part, that's where the rap is all. So rap music is rap on top of music, and the music's already been defined. And it started out with the music being records or a diverse um, array of records, which um their body can claim. Well, you know, there's a lot of people doing it, and the reasons that they do it are varied. Uh, I think the corporations, when they have a say so, it's like a government telling you what culture is, so there's a problem with that. And I think what Nas is talking about eloquently, he's just talking about, hey, you know, um, the art form has to talk about more about life instead of, you know, things that hinge upon death or things that hinge upon his other motives to just do their music instead of trying to make it replenish itself. So I think it's very important that that we have um, structure and organization. And also that we have um, a great idea of, of, of the history of it always in, in the foremost front of our minds. And, and I think when you talk about guys like Cool Herc and DJ Hollywood and Africa Van and Funky 4 Plus 1 and Shy Rock, it's important to bring, bring that up to speed, you know. And, Jay Z is the embodiment of all the way up to this point. You know, I think there will be somebody who will do it better than Jay Z. Um, as far as the most fearful rapper ever, which gets high grades in my book, is Karis One. Karis One is the only dude that I've ever seen come inside a room and change the whole atmosphere of the room. And anybody who else was a rapper truly was trying to downplay the occupation. That's I've never seen anybody like that. I think, I think groups, um, I think when record companies came about and were trying to tell people the importance of the money, then why have a group? You know, you can get one person and they get the money and that's what everybody should strive for. You know, I think a guy like Kanye West, he's the Elton John of, of rap music. <laughs> you know, because it's like Elton John is big, can fill stadiums, and, you know, you know he's talented, but you but you wonder, like, wow, like, can it really build stadiums, or is this the process of, of everything around it? And uh, I, I just think groups are the thing that, that, that really entertain. And um, if hip-hop's so big, how come we can't name more than three all-female groups?